Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Silverstone Strider Plus 1000 watt. This is an 80 plus silver power supply with 100% modular cables, 85 to 88% efficiency, class leading single 12 volt rail. Really? Oh, okay. Oh, right. Well, yeah. You know, if you have a single 12 volt rail, then you'll always be a class leading single 12 volt rail because, check that out, it can deliver up to 960 watts on the 12 volt rail. Oh, look at that. They rate it for peak power as well. So it's 1100 watts peak, which means that if you're monitoring the power of your system and you see those little like those little spikes, it can handle that. No big deal. Okay, that's good. Japanese main capacitors, silent running 135 millimeter fan, PCIe 8 and 6 pin connectors, active PFC, 24 hour continuous power output with 40C operating temperature. That's good. You know, a lot of consumer grade components actually are not rated for 24 hour a day operation. I don't know if you guys knew that. Things like hard drives, for example, uh, even things like TVs. Did you know that if the TV manufacturer finds out that you're using your TV in a commercial environment or in a 24-7 operation environment, your warranty is void. I think the exception is Toshiba. I, I believe so. Don't quote me on that one, but there's, there's one guy, there's one company that allows their consumer grade TVs to be used as digital signage. And then all the other ones void your warranty immediately when they find out that it's, um, like just the address that they go to service it at, if they go to a restaurant or something, then your warranty's void. All right, so here's the, check this out. This is a thousand watt power supply in basically just a, a, standard, a standard length. So that's a 135 millimeter fan and they haven't added any extra length. So you should be able to install this in, say for example, not that we have anything crazy planned around this, but in say for example, something like an SG, uh, 09, which is Silverstone's sweet micro ATX case that I unboxed very recently that uh, we are planning, well, okay, I'll give it away. We are planning to do a build-in with this power supply. So there's your one through, oh, right, okay. So there's your 80 plus silver badge, as well as all your general specs, safety certifications, all that good stuff. If it's made by Silverstone, it's probably fine. It's probably safe. You can use it in your country. It's all good. There's that licensed patent thing for the uh, modular connectors that ultra patented like a billion years ago. There's your back of the power supply. Oh, no power on and off. That's interesting, which is just fine on the SG-09 since uh, the power supply ends up on the inside of the case anyway. One other cool thing that we're going to be doing with the SG-09 is we're going to be showcasing the short cable kit. So you can see that the Strider 1000 Plus comes with a bajillion connectors, which any 1000 watt power supply should because if you're buying a 1000 watt power supply, it should be because you have a bajillion things to connect to it. So we've got 24 pin. There you go. 20 plus four sleeving. Okay, I wouldn't mind see, oh, okay, it does go up a little bit further. It looks like it just got loose a little bit there. There you go, Let's slide that up. There you are. Uh, then we've got two eight pin connectors. Here we go. So we've got a four plus four and another four plus four. This is handy because it gives you a lot of flexibility. A lot of them have a fused eight pin and then a four plus four. So I don't mind this approach. Um, some server motherboards have sort of weird uh, ATX and EPS connector configurations. This I like. So this is something that I've seen from Silverstone before where they have two six plus twos and then you can disconnect these or not use them or whatever else. And then they have two eight plus six or eight plus six. So six plus two and a six. So if you have two video cards that each take two connectors, then you can go ahead and you can run one wire to each. You can plug these in. If you have additional auxiliary plugs that you need to plug into, then you can use these individual ones. Some motherboards now, for example, have auxiliary six pins. So, uh, I mean, something like a Coolit Boreas took an auxiliary six pin. So, so that's pretty neat. Uh, so you can connect up or you can just run the whole thing up to your video cards and you connect up to dual eight pin plus a six pin. No big deal. Then we've got four harnesses for our general auxiliary connect or our general Molex connectors and SATA connectors. So each of these harnesses has three SATA connectors. Wouldn't have minded seeing four, but they're quite long, so you'll be able to reach like look at that. It's like an entire Linus arm length and then all the way down to a Linus rib cage from there. So quite long. And then next you've got two identical harnesses that each have three four pin Molexes and a floppy. Look at that. If you extend the floppy all the way, you've got like all the way down to a, a Linus belt level from the Linus arm length that it was previously at. So fully modular, you can remove all of these cables and replace them with short cables. If you have a case that is super small and super cool, which is exactly what we're going to be doing. Uh, part of the reason that this is so flexible is because of the size of the power supply itself. Um, longer power supplies don't always fit in small form factor builds, so 
Use as many cables or as few as you want. It's small. Ah, included accessories. So we have four cable management Velcro straps. We have four black screws for plugging in or for screwing into the back of your case. Four thumb screws for using those instead if you'd like. So you can use whichever screws you want. Four, look at that, they like the number four. Four zip ties for cable management as well and a nice thick power cable. And finally, a manual and a no, this is power, power supply. Yeah, all right. They're so good at manuals. Look at this. They actually like put in pictures, they document everything. Their cases particularly have excellent manuals, all kinds of really good little tips and tricks and all that good stuff. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Silverstone Strider Plus 1000 Watt. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.